these are my quilt boxes I made here and you see here this is for a bag that's what it looks like on the un underside and then on this side then I make a bag out of it like this one or this one or this one like this this is my attempt to make an American doll quilt I had to sew all the little squares together just like I did on the other ones with the back with the back side shows it but it is not perfect and if I was going to sell this on Etsy or someplace else I would need it to be perfect and so one thing is I need to use um, a higher stitch on it because this is way too tight here and this right here you can tell that I messed up so I didn't finish it but I've learned a lot of things when I made it. It took me quite a while to sew all the squares together because those are tiny, tiny squares that I have around here. This right here is what I call my um, wheelchair size because it can you can put it on your wheelchair. It's thin. It's not as wide as a regular blanket, but it's also long enough that if you wanted to pull it up over your shoulders you could and this is a quilt that I have finished a lot of things I just had just given away when they people had babies or I gave them to the crisis pregnancy center but I want to sell them too and I've gotten pretty good now this one's been washed once already and see these our doll blankets here but you might have a doll for a doll and this one and this one here I'm making a few I tried to make it to where an American girl doll could use it on her bed and see these take a skein of yarn uh, so, you know, you just got to think about how much it costs to make one of these baby blankets take like three skeins. That's how big they are. Um, I'm giving one away today. Um, these are the quilts that I have done that I have uh, got together where the top part is done and the bottom isn't done. And like I said, this is for the bags. I have over here a hand quilter. I haven't really understood the directions, but I've been trying to tape it when I'm working on something. Um some people you say why don't you just use your sewing machine and that might be good if I'm doing it trying to get it done quickly this is where I usually hang my example of my work is is here and this room is great because see I've got my holly hobby dolls up there and I've got my ribbons up there Here's another shelf. I've got some different things in. I have lots of scraps uh, that I'm trying to think of what to do with. They're kind of long and skinny when I cut off the ends of it. This is my sewing table. Um, it's not quite, it's not, it's kind of messy. But I messed, messed with it trying to take pictures of, of the things that I do. And I have a TV right up here and then see right here is all my stamping things and I had just gotten a pen that's supposed to be a right on fabric and so I want to get a stamp 
thing so I can stamp this these on to uh, to my quilts of some kind. Then if you look further, this is my scrapbook stuff here. Pens and pencils and all of these things I've made to do my scrapbooking. It's kind of messy too. But we get it all straightened out. My bursitis has kind of gotten me where it, it's painful to stand for long periods of time and I sit, sit in my recliner and when I'm able to I sit in my chair and do things that I can do as a bulletin board and there's some of my scrapbooks I made they're up in the closet and they're quite beautiful I think I've gotten better over the years May I show you an example? There, there's the birthday, Damien's eighth birthday. Sarah's pregnant. There's little Viola. I don't know if you can see her right, but you take pictures and you cut them out. And I might have lost a picture here. And Viola's birthday. And Viola with Chuck E. Cheese. But I make a lot of my own little uh, flowers through cut out. I haven't been doing my scrapbooking lately. Yeah, see that's when we went to uh, Tombstone, Arizona. And where Sarah had her baby. And that's Jason. And then a lot of this afterwards is Jason. And see right here, I got a picture of an, an emu right here. I took that picture of myself along with this one <laughs> when we went to a wildlife park. See that? That one there is pretty professional looking, I think. I mean, most of my pictures don't come out that good, but... That one did. Yep. And Jason. So I'll just go just go through this real quick. But if you can have a room where you can put all your craft stuff, it's great. And that way I can be very creative. But I do want to sell some of my blankets and stuff. Um, Sarah said that she was going to sell them on Etsy. Okay, well I think that's enough right there. And there's my collection.